five on the Dating Direct. In fact, he sent several emails a day, and it would be quite overwhelming. But you soon realised that he actually had this sort of standard mail, and that there was more than one person he was actually sending it to. But it's interesting when it sends with coloured pictures and coloured background and different flowers on them. So, yeah, he, he attracted my attention, shall we say. He came across as very friendly, open chap. On the email and in the phone, you know, talk about current affairs and children and animals and everything, really. And I thought, oh, you know, he seems quite nice. I've come down to meet Clive because I'm not the one for staying at home and just talking on the internet or... or you know, just writing back and forward, you actually have to meet the, the people that you're talking to. And I think Clive interests me from the point that he, he does seem funny, he does seem charming. He's either going to be uh, my dream date or my worst nightmare, and it's that that drives me down here. Um, you never know if you if you don't go ahead and do it. Hi! How are you? <laughs> Hi! All right. I made it. Pleased to meet you yeah, at last. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, off the road. Hi, let's not, let's not get knocked out. Are you nervous? Are you nervous? You're going to be nervous, eh? Actually, really, no, I'm not. No, no, I'm not anyway. Oh, that's good. I'm I was going to ask you the same question. Yeah. I'm not too bad, actually. Yeah. I'm fine. It's not doing these women any good because they're not happy. And he's not settled down with any one person for very long to say, well, yes, he did have a go at the relationship, or he made the effort. So I think, I think it's, it's, it's quite bad, really. There's no stopping him. Hello. Hello. This is Angela and Clive. Clive Worth and Angela England.